What's going on guys? My name is Frank and welcome back to AFTB Young Guns. Today, I am going to be taking you through the latest and most interesting transfer news from Arsenal in the past day. I'll be talking about one story of a player that could be coming into Arsenal and then I will also be talking about a player who could be on the way out. Before we get into this video, make sure to check out AFTB Young Guns on all its social medias. Our handles will be on screen right here. As well as that, make sure to hit that subscribe button if you are new here and if you do like this video. But without further ado, let's get in to the transfer news. Starting off, we have to talk about Christopher Nkunku. Arsenal have reportedly been informed that it will take a £13.5 million bid to sign Paris Saint-Germain's Christopher Nkunku. And this is according to TalkSport. Now, the question that you've got to ask firstly is who is Christopher Nkunku? Christopher Nkunku is a 21-year-old French centre mid who currently plays for Ligue 1 champions Paris Saint-Germain. During the 2018-19 season, he played 20 29 games, scoring four goals and assisting two. Even more interestingly, he is a very, very versatile player. Yes, he's a centre mid, but he's been used at camp. He's been used on the left-hand side. He's been used on the right-hand side. He's been used as a false nine striker. And also, he has been used as a right-back. So he can cover all areas of the pitch. Now, there must surely be some form of miscommunication here. If I'm hearing this right, they only want £13.5 million. No, 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 no. This, this can't be right. There must be some sort of catch. There's not? Wow. Arsenal get this done. It's looking likely that we only have a £40 million budget this summer. So if we are able to get someone who played regularly in a league winning side, as we are with Christopher Nkunku, then we should bite their hand off. Personally, if I haven't made myself clear enough yet, this is a massive thumbs up and 100% get this done from me. Is he a direct replacement for Aaron Ramsey? No. Do we need that? Yes, I understand that. But with only a £40 million budget, it's going to be hard to find someone of Aaron Ramsey's ability with such a little amount of money. However, if I had to put a point on what kind of central midfielder that Nkunku is, I'd either go with an advanced playmaker or a Mazala, which is similar to Aaron Ramsey in my opinion. What I mean by this is he's the sort of midfielder to drop into the hole between the opposition's team's defence and midfield. He often drifts out into wider areas to create more width in the midfield. So while you're not getting a replacement for Aaron Ramsey in terms of ability right now, you're getting a similar player who has the time and potential to be become as good as Aaron Ramsey. Signing Nkunku offers serious competition in that midfield role alongside Lucas Torreira. Now I'm going to pose this question to you guys at home. Do you think that Christopher Nkunku would make a good signing for Arsenal? Now that's the incoming news. Now we move on to the outgoing news. It has been reported that Arsenal are considering selling Lucas Torreira after AC Milan made their first bid for the player. And this is according to the Metro. Lucas Torreira was impressive in his first season at Arsenal after he signed for £26.5 million from Sampdoria last summer. In the time he has been at the club, he's played 50 games, scoring two goals and gaining five assists. AC Milan have reportedly offered a two-year loan deal for the player worth an initial £7 million and then an optional £34 million fee to complete the transfer after the loan deal has finished finish, which means all in all, they're looking to pay around £41 million. Now, this sounds insane at first, but what you've got to remember is this is the same Ivan Gazidis that is responsible for the infamous £40 million and £1 bid for Luis Suarez. So this is nothing new. The thing that I find scary about this situation is that Arsenal are actually considering this. Reportedly, may I just add, reportedly, but it seems like such an Arsenal thing to do. If not for Lacazette's amazing season, Lucas Torreira surely would have won that player of the season award. And guys, what you've got to remember when I'm saying this is this is his first season at Arsenal, the adjustment period in a way. And if that's what he's capable of in an adjustment period, I am looking forward so much to seeing what he's got to offer in the future. Arsenal need to learn to understand that selling your best players is not going to get us anywhere near challenging for a league title anytime soon. If you ask me, Unai Emery should send a voice note directly to Ivan Gacidis, just laughing. Don't say nothing about the bid, just laugh. And then decline the offer. Just to wind him up because surely this is a wind up from AC Milan but again what do you guys think at home anyway guys that is the end of this video we understand that AFTV Young Guns that you don't want to see these faces for longer than five minutes usually but again just before we go I want to know down in the comments what you think of the latest news coming from Arsenal is Nkunku on his way to Arsenal is Lucas Torreira on his way to AC Milan that sounds insane to say but just let us know down in the comments thank you for watching this video if you did like it make sure to leave a like also subscribe to AFTV Young Guns I've been Frank, I will see you guys next time. Peace.